What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video I'm really excited to talk about this add-on because basically what it does is it adds CAD style transformations inside of Blender. What that allows you to do is that allows you to move, rotate, and scale objects um, to a much more precise degree um, very quickly. So I'm really excited to talk about this so let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so I will link to this add-on in the notes down below. Below, um, but the name of this add-on is CAD Transform for Blender. And so what this add-on does is it gives you CAD-like transform op your operations in Blender um, and it works on version 2.8 and up. So you can snap to like vertices, edges, grids, lots of different things. So you can download this by coming in here and you can download this for free. If you can support developers that create tools like this, This that gives them the ability to keep working on things that can help make Blender better. So you can name your own price on this, but if you can afford to support the developer um, by downloading this add-on, um, go ahead and do that. Um, but then when we bring this in, what we're going to do is we're going to check out the different functions contained inside of this tool. As most of you know, inside of Blender, currently if you use the move tool to like move things around, you can use this to place things and get them pretty close. So like I could align things based on the front view and get them about where they need to be. I could even turn on snapping and do like vertex snapping or something like that. So you can use that in order to snap to different edges and different corners. But you can see how it kind of jumps around a little bit when you do this. So you don't necessarily always get exactly what you want from a result standpoint using these tools. Well, this tool has really kind of upgraded that function so that you can move things around with more precision. And so the way that it works is once you add it, so remember to go into your preferences in your add-ons and install the downloaded file. So just find that zip file when you click on install and then make sure that you enable this. But what this is going to do is it's going to pop up a little icon over here on the left hand side of the screen. And so what this icon does is it's basically another tool kind of like the transform tool. And what it does is if you click on it, then this becomes the active tool. So you can see how there's some information up above on this, as well as some options for how um, the snapping is set up in here. But really the best way to look at this tool, especially when you're learning it, is by going over into your menu over here and then clicking on the tool icon when you have this selected. Remember the tool um, gives you information about the active tool. But this gives you information about the different shortcuts that this tool works with. So this tool works with the move, rotate, and scale tools, and it has a number of different snap modes. So the way that this works is now, if I was to activate move by tapping the G key, you can see how this doesn't move around, but rather what it does is it looks for a base point. So it looks for a base point um, from which it needs to snap before it moves. So what we're gonna do is, for example, if I was to tap the E key, you can see how this actually gives me the ability to snap to an edge. You can tap the F key in order to snap to a face. And so what this does is this basically sets up your move tool so you snap to a certain point. So I'm gonna tap the V key and go back to vertex snap mode. But basically what this, or you can also click on these little icons right here in order to turn on the different snap elements. Um, but basically what happens is if I tap the G key and then click on this corner, I can now move this and I can actually snap the object based on the point that I had selected. And I can do this as many times as I want to with a lot of different snap types. And so you can see how what this does is this gives me a lot more precision for the kind of movement that I can use inside of Blender. And so not only can I snap to things like, um, not only can I snap to things like edges, you can also set, set this to give you a snap to edge center mode. So like this. So now if I was to snap to edge center mode and then tap the G key, I can actually snap to the center of an object and have that snap to your other edge centers. You can have multiple different kinds of snapping turned on by doing a shift click or by using the keyboard shortcuts, but notice how I can actually now turn on multiple different kinds of snapping. So now if I was to tap the G key and then select this point, 
you can see how I can use this to move my object so that it's aligned with a central point. Um, I can set it so that it's aligned with different faces. I can really be a lot more precise in my movement inside of Blender, which is really important for like CAD style operations. And so one of the cool things about this is you can also use this inside of edit mode and you can use it to align and snap to other objects. So what that means is that means, that let's say that I have this post right here and I have a cylinder right here. Well, if I wanted this to be the same height as this post with the built-in tools, that can be a little bit tricky. You could probably do it with some snapping, but this makes it really easy because I can just tab into edit mode, select this face, and I can just um, use the vertex snapping. So I could select a point and then I can lock this to an axis. So I could lock it to the Z axis and I can actually move my mouse over this other object. So what I can do is I can use this to match the height of other objects using the inferencing on this tool. So I can lock it to the different axes, but then I can also snap to other faces or other edges inside of my model. So what that allows me to do is that allows me to create really, um, that allows me to create really precise movements really quickly. And so let's say for example that I wanted to move this sphere so that it was centered on the, the central point of this post right here. Well what I could do is I could turn on vertex snapping and face center snapping and then I could activate my sphere and tap the G key and go find this central ver vertex of my sphere. So just by mousing over it and clicking on it. And then I could move this up and find this point where this is centered on this face. So I can move this very precisely on the end of this point using this tool. So it's really a significant upgrade in the way that you can move things inside a blender if you're trying to move things so that they're precise and exact. And so not only does this work with the move tool, it also works with the rotate and scale tools. So let's say I wanted to scale this so that it had a th certain thickness. Well, I can use the snapping in order to do that really easy. I can just tap the S key and click right here. And then I could click another point right here and then just move my mouse. You can see how when I move my mouse, this is showing me both the percentage, but also the thickness that this is going to be. So I could use this to scale this wall so that now it's three inches thick. I can just type in three inches and hit the enter key. And so if we were to come in here and measure this, so just measure it across the top and we'll get pretty close. You can see how this is now three inches thick. So this can be a really valuable tool for like CAD style operations. So another example would be, let's say I wanted this wall to be 10 feet long. Well, I can just use the scale tool in order to do that. So just tap the S key, make sure I have vertex snapping mode on, then click on this vertex and then just type in a value of 10 feet and hit the enter key. So again, if we were to measure this, it's 120 inches or 10 feet. So you can see how this could make transformation super easy inside of Blender. And then the other thing I really like about this is it also allows you to really precisely rotate objects. And so let's say for example that I wanted to align this with this wall. Well, what I could do is I could just move this over aligned with the wall. Then I could use the rotate tool in order to do that. So I could just come in here and just rotate this and base it on this corner. And then I can just lock it to the different axes when I do this. So I could align that with this object and then I could come in here and I could align this. And I'd probably want to snap to this bottom piece actually, but I could lock it to the Y axis and then align that just like this. So you can come in here and you can rotate this along your different axes really easily in order to get things to align. And so I'm still playing around with this, but I really love what you can do with this tool. I think it brings a whole new kind of transformation to Blender. And I think it's something that you're gonna really like if you're gonna create precision models like architectural models and other things like that. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Do you like this tool? Do you like this style of moving objects? I just love having that conversation with you guys. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.